Hello everyone, I just decided to vlog today, I don't really know why. It's just gonna be a regular summer day in my life. My room is a mess because it just took me forever to pick out what I was wearing. I'm obviously at home right now because I live at home right now. So my parents have gone away for two days and my brother's home, but I think we might go get blood later. Gonna make cinnamon rolls, just gonna have a day. Also gonna work on my quilt and I think I'm gonna film one of my like back to school kind of videos. Um. So it'll probably be up before this. So I'll show you what I'm wearing and then I'm gonna go do my makeup because all of those freckles, well I like the freckles but I'm very pale compared to the rest of my body so. So I'm just wearing this like short sleeve sweater top from Madewell and my ripped denim from Gap. So we're gonna go with this and I think I'm gonna wear my tortoiseshell hoop earrings as well but I might wear a different earring, we'll see. Just eating lunch. Well, I just finished eating lunch um, and I was just admiring this massively fat pigeon outside. Also, airplanes probably seems weird to people. Um, but I wanted to show you what my dog looks like currently because we've had a situation over the last couple of years at Sparkles, so I'll show you. So, my beautiful girl is a satellite. Hey, Sparkles. What a pretty girl, huh? So, oh, perfect. Turn to the side. You can see um, she is Chauvin at one side. And you can see her little, what we like to call her gremlin claw at the other side. Hey, bun. Hey, bunny, can you sit? I'll give you some, yeah, you can see her little gremlin claw. And I'll probably show a better version of that later. It's actually just her regular paw shaved. She's just old, so her toes are gone a little crooked and dog paws that dogs that are usually fluffy with shaved paws look weird. Um, Sparkles has, she has like this virus um, because she was a puppy mill dog, obviously. Don't at me. Um, it was like 13 years ago when we bought her because she's turning 13 next month. Couldn't be a teenager. But she had to get one of those papillomas, or, well, she had to get a couple of those papillomas removed. Um, yeah, the virus gives her skin growths so she has a lot of them on her body but the you can see the one on her forehead but um yeah and then also she had to have a biopsy of her nose because the vet hasn't said anything but upon my internet searching she likely has some sort of skin cancer which is very sad i'm glad you don't understand but you can see it looks like she's a nose piercing so we've been joking about that i'll give a little close-up of that later sometime when she's sleeping but now i'm just gonna clean up after myself sorry if you can hear the radio in the background um <clears throat> i'm going to drive to i was gonna go to centra like a small little supermarket but i think i'm gonna go to tesco because i need to get new mascara um i'll explain that in the car but yeah i can go in my new car Ooh, i'm gonna do a video on like what's in my car once few bits that I've ordered arrive but I got a new car I'm so excited it's a Suzuki Vitara and I'm obsessed I always loved those cars and my first car like that I was driving so I obviously drove my mom's car twice in the last like what three four three years since I've had my license but I also had, um, had a VW Polo which my brother now has so he's had it for two years so yeah I'm very excited about my new car and I'm gonna go driving um it's not that far away but yeah I just need to get random stuff I think I said this earlier I want to get a juice for like a, an innocent smoothie I'll tell you my like game plan in the car um for giving blood and then yeah for the bits to get because I want to make cinnamon rolls afterwards so I need to uh, need some all that stuff hey yo we here just got to Tesco uh, I don't have glasses, I've said this before. Um, I'm kind of a hidden spot, so people won't be looking at me. But, um, yeah, I'm going to get cream cheese so that I can, and more, like, croissant package roll things, so that I can make those later. And after we hopefully, fingers crossed, can give blood, um, I'm also getting an innocent smoothie juice, which is kind of like, I don't know, quote, life hack. Um, I'm kind of, so I know that the, um, that the criteria is different. Oh, look, 
pay for parking. I have no coins. Okay, we'll figure that out. And um, the criteria is different from country to country um, on donating blood, but I think Ireland is one of the more strict countries. We have some pretty con- I found money. Um, it's a two euro, fuck. Yeah, we have some pretty controversial ones, uh, but yeah, um, they will test by hemoglobin levels. Apparently it's like a bullshit test, but whatever. Um, and you have to like pass that for them to take it. I've never failed it, but I've come pretty close, but I've also gotten like way off the charts readings before too, so. You never know. Um, I have two euro. I'm not paying. Fucking, I guess I have to. Um, I could just risk it, but I don't think that's a good idea. But yeah, I found that drinking that juice, this particular one, kind of makes you feel better at least. Um, I'm gonna get that, and I need to get mascara in pennies. And I I came here because I never go to pennies to actually like shop. I used to work there, fun fact. Um, in this one, but yeah, it's the only place that stocks essence. So. We'll get to that. I didn't vlog when I was in there because I had like full hands the whole time. But the goods have been acquired. And then of course I also got the extra thing from Essence. What? This guy just straight up just like reversed the whole way in front of me. Also this person has her car window open. I feel like that's not very safe. But um, yeah, mission accomplished. Gonna go home now. Time is it? Like it's really late. I got up really late. Yeah, it's 1 p.m. So, um, I feel like that's wrong. I feel it's probably actually like 2 p.m. And the clock in here is wrong. We're just gonna head, we, me, gonna head back. Um, probably, although I ate lunch at a regular time, probably gonna make my brother eat his dinner like before 5 p.m. Cause I think we're gonna go at 5 p.m. Uh, which is when the blood donation clinic opens. Because you can be waiting for like over an hour. I usually am, uh, which is really a bummer if then they say, oh no, actually you can't. Um, yeah, so, and I'm also gonna try and join the bone marrow donor registry. I've tried to do it before and it, I think that was during Vlogmas. Maybe I'll link that video here. Uh, yeah, it didn't work out. <laughs> I was very upset. Home we go. Home again, home again. Take a deep check. Is that a dad thing or is that a dad thing? Oh, I have nowhere to put my stuff. Um, my dog's gonna be so excited even though she's, no, she's probably not. Because I gave her painkillers before I left. But, um, because my brother just texted me that he's not home. So the front door is locked. Hi, puppy. Yeah, no, she's probably asleep. Um, she's still on her painkillers from her surgery. Did all my shit out the car. But, um, yeah, I told him he needs to eat something. Uh, before we go to donate because they always ask you and maybe it's not as big of a thing for him as it is for me because I'm so what's funny is that I'm like way over the weight category but height wise um I'm like in whatever risky for fainting category hi bunny my sweet girl um yeah, I'm, because I'm only 5'2". So it's like if you're under 5'3", and under a certain weight, of which I'm like, solid like 25 pounds more than, um, eat probably even more. <laughs> like I'm a chunky girl. Yeah, so they always like extra question me. So, but I've never fainted in my life. So I feel like that should be taken into account. Um, I am going to eat a chocolate bar because I got myself one at the supermarket. Put away stuff into the fridge and I think I'm gonna film actually. I'm gonna film while the house is quiet because she's sleepy and my brother's not here. So the quilting stuff I can do tonight um, and that's pretty like chill, mellow in case I don't feel so good. Cause most of the time I feel fine, but uh, not, not something I want to, I'm not gonna be doing anything exertive. So quilting seems like a good idea, hey dog. Also any Lily fans out there like her collar? It's, um, I got it on Etsy. I love it, hey? A lot of people say it suits you. She's such a snuggly girl. Um, her bald patch is over here against my arm. It feels really weird. Uh, yep, yeah, okay, so why don't I stop jabbing and do that? So I was just watching YouTube videos downstairs because you should follow at Instagabby on Instagram and she's on YouTube as well. Oh, my room is so messy, I forgot about that. Um, 
but I have a video, I'll link it here, of when I went to dinner with strangers because I was invited by Gabby. She was hosting the dinner, but she has decided she's European and she's decided that she's actually gonna move back to Europe. She's been living in New York for four years. So I was just watching those videos and I realized I have chocolate all down my top. So I need to change, um, cause I'm gonna film, but I have to wear something like actual clothes. I kind of just want to wear workout shorts, but it's a little too cold and I have to go out to give blood later. So I'm going to pick something out from here and tidy up and I'm going to try and film in a new spot today. Maybe this, that video will be up before this. I don't know, but it's going to be my back to school anti haul for school supplies. So, if, oh yeah, if you're new here, I'm going back to college. Uh, no, yeah, I'm excited, but uh, I'm going back to get my master's, which is kind of terrifying, so. So, as you can probably tell from the camera back there, um, I'm just done filming. The video's kind of shitty, to be honest, but, like, maybe it'll be fine. Um, as I said before, it's an anti-haul of all the stuff I am not buying for going back to school. I changed into this top, which is really cute but obviously you have to wear a strapless bra with it, which isn't that comfortable. Um, I think I might figure out some outfit with like a bralette and something comfy for later. My brother just texted me being like, I ate a sandwich, is that enough food? I'm like, they're gonna ask you, Gavin, how much you ate. So um, I'm gonna figure out maybe a snack for him when he comes back. And so I'm gonna go just change my top again, because I feel like, you know, you get if you get nervous, you get cold. I don't know if that happens to um, any of you, but I'll be so cold if I have to wait in like, it's kind of a, a chilled room as well, where they often um, take the donations. So I'm gonna put on something a little bit more cozy and wait for my brother to get back because, what time is it? To freckle past a hair. Um, it's probably time enough that we start getting ready to leave. Gavin, how do you feel about your first blood donation? So we were very rudely interrupted and Gavin's not here because he doesn't want to be in the video anyways. But his blood donation was fine. Um, yeah, my my Bluetooth like keeps cutting me off. Um, I won't be surprised if it does it now. But yeah, woohoo! I think I'm on the, I'm going, I'm going, like I was screened and whatever. This is a stupid plaster on my finger. Uh, for the bone marrow donor registry. Um, which I've been trying to join for a while, as I said before. Uh, Garv was interested as well, but I told him not to do it now. He said, like, just donate regularly one time. Come on. So, yeah, I got my... did a regular donation, and then... Well, they took that first, and then I did a regular no donation. I'll bake that bag of blood. I really... Seemingly, I'm, like, fine. Uh, my heart was a bit, like, hoobie hoo for a second, but like drinking water and juice will fix that. Gavin's getting me an ice pop. <laughs> We're at Centra. You can't see that. We're at Centra. Um, he's getting stuff for his own dinner. And yeah, that's it. So he was fine. It was his first time donating, but they did have to take in a little extra bit. And for me, it's like, I don't even know my fifth time or something. So it was grand. Again, struggled to find a vein. It hurt a little bit. And I was like, um, it's a little uncomfortable. And they were like, Oh, it is? I was like, yeah. So they loosen the cuff a bit, but um, I'm hoping I don't end up with a massive ugly bruise like I did one time. That's today. I'm glad I'm finally on the registry. Sorry, my windshield wiper's going. Um, or I should be, they'll let me know if I am on the, once I'm on the registry, but something I've been wanting to do for a while. So. And my, my levels are fine, but Garvin's weren't fine. Uh, my like hemoglobin reading was like just okay. Uh, I knew, I was saying I knew it was lower, um, but Garves was a little low, so they they drew blood, like regular, like getting a blood draw, and they tested that, and that was totally fine. So that's it for right now. <laughs> My heart's beating from just coming up the stairs. Woo. I am going to get into some comfy, cozy clothes. I'm honestly just gonna work on like tidying my room a little bit, and I think there's a few bits of my wardrobe I want to pass on and stuff like that. So 
yeah, I'm feeling a little cold, but it is cold, the temperature dropped. So that's what's on the schedule this evening. Sparkles, are we watching the sunset? Yeah. Yeah, can you smell something? She can't smell anything, she's a Bichon. But it's still light outside, obviously. It's like nine-ish, 9.30. Yeah, you like it out here? Apologies for the TV in the background. I was watching Press Preview, my favorite. Uh, you should watch Press Preview on Sky News. I don't know why I love it so much. Um, it's the perfect like wind down, wind down, wind down. I would like wine, but no. Um, yeah, I'm feeling like, look at that mascara. I was cleaning my room and then I like sat down on my bed because I was new to click something on my laptop and then I, I was slouching and then I lay down on my bed and you know how it goes so it do be like that sometimes after you give blood um I'm a little bit tired but that's expected um just gonna like sleep it off an absolutely riveting night watching sky news welcome to my life I'm also wearing a massively fluffy sweatshirt and velvet pants Ta -da -da, that I showed in my I think I showed it in my back to school haul. Uh, they're kind of weird with the crush, but the waistband is really tight as well, but they look really cute and they're very, very cozy. So I'm just gonna put my little doggo into bed and turn in for the night. So I hope you enjoyed this very uneventful day of my life. Sorry I couldn't film more at like blood donation clinic um, because you're not allowed to have your phone when you're donating. It's, like for fear that you like move on your arms and like there's a needle in there. Uh, you're not allowed to have like books and stuff either. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more exciting content. I'm trying to upload more frequently, at least until I go back to college, uh, oh, which will be at the beginning of September. I'm literally losing it now. So good night, God bless, subscribe, comment down below if you have anything to say. Follow me on Instagram at anime.yt. I'll link some other videos here. Subscribe, I'll see you in my next video.